The automatic braking system is one of the most important new standards that could, could be issued. It's going to save a lot of lives. It's going to reduce a lot of property damage. Uh, and we think that it's the, the, the most important thing to focus on now. Unfortunately, the, it, the Obama administration has a long list of unreviewed safety standards from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration pending, and they're not moving. A and we're just furious about that. And that's one of the reasons that I think that NHTSA has opted to try and move these standards along by having a voluntary standard first. But we think that uh, that could undermine the likelihood of a federal standard. We want to see a federal standard that, that applies to every maker, is enforceable, and that the public can have at the earliest possible date. Well, voluntary standards are like a New Year's resolution. They're just great, but they have no punch. A and they can disappear in a moment, because any automatic maker can decide that they're just not going to comply, and there's no enforcement. A regulation is something that every maker, every automaker has to comply with. It's a more open process uh, because consumers and anybody else in the world can participate in a public rulemaking yeah. and um, they're enforceable. So if a manufacturer decides not to uh, comply, they have to pay a penalty and recall the car. The automakers have to be in the room because they're the ones who are going to be making the systems uh, for um, these brakes that will stop the car automatically. Uh, so they should be there, but so should everybody else. And that's what our concerns are. There are some manufacturers that are doing a great job. They're, they're working really hard to put these automatic braking systems in place. And there are others that are real laggards. And that's why we think there needs to be a minimum bottom line, a basic uh, federal safety standard. I think that the uh, crash testing program, which rates the cars with STARS, uh, does have an impact. And by putting the automatic braking in there as one of the criteria, I think it is going to influence some manufacturers to put those systems in sooner. So it's really a combination of the crash testing public information program, the voluntary uh, effort, and then a federal minimum safety standard. And we complement NHTSA and Mark Rosekind on doing this and pushing this in all fronts. But um, we're just concerned that, that if it just relies on a voluntary safety standard, then uh, the auto companies are going to walk away from it at some point.